Welcome again to another video on this other channel that you've hopefully subscribed to. How y'all doing today? Me, I'm doing good. I'm gonna do some Minecraft because I like Minecraft. I'm gonna do some Minecraft. Ooh, got a torch. Walking over the torch. Don't want to do that. So anyway, as you know, we are... I'm gonna eat some food here. Uh, as you know, we are currently building a mega castle, mega super duper build and it's gonna be really big and gonna be really hard to make i'm gonna change perspective and so let's go so as you may already know um we're doing a base out of wool at the moment because we're following some basic uh um some basic mega build um you know ideas and rules and just the steps we're going to be taking so right now i'm just going to take you through the basics of what we're going to be doing so let's get so without further ado let's get right into it it's back in this direction okay so this is the very first thing um of course you it was the first thing you saw this is going to be the gate house and the big gatehouse is going to be right here. We're going to have a massive gate that's going to be leading into a big old throne room right here. And off on each side, we're going to have some pretty big towers that are going to be flanking the gatehouse. And the gatehouse itself is going to be a pretty sizable tower. Uh, we're not really sure how big though. But off to the side here, we got uh, two wings. This wing and that wing over there. Uh, we're not really exactly sure what we're going to do with them. I'm not sure if we're going to put, like, make them look defend defensible. Like, um, you know, like some archers would stand in it. Like some soldiers, some sentries or whatever. Or they might look a bit more decorative. And, you know, you might look at them and go, oh, hey, that's cool. Might, like, put some rooms on the next to them. And that might look pretty sweet. But anyway, that's, um, that's mostly what this is. Uh, you, you can see the exact same, mostly the exact same thing on the other side. I'll get to that later, but right next to it, um, one of the most important rooms in the entire castle, the throne room. And when I say throne room, I mean this whole area, all the way from back there to all the way up here is just going to be a throne room. Now, I had the idea of making the top floor the floor, like, since it's such a large area, we could separate it into two parts. The throne room could be on the top, and then we could have, like, a ballroom on the bottom. Um, the ballroom would also have a throne, or multiple thrones, because we have multiple kings and one queen. So, anyway, off to the side of the throne room, we have the wall which is going to be pretty big and going to look pretty intimidating but it's going to have these two outlier things to it going to be two uh towers out here they're going to be linked with a small bridge um and they're of course going to link back to the main wall i just thought it'd be cool because we had this little like little bit of land jut out and i thought it'd be cool to use it for something uh so we're going to put two towers here and we'll see how that turns out so anyway i made a So anyway, I made a little, uh, pretend throne here, uh, that's, this is pretty much where it's gonna be, but, uh, what I'm trying to, uh, get at is that this is gonna be, like, the middle part, so the back here, there's gonna be one tower, um, at the back of the throne room, and this is probably where we're gonna, where we're gonna have, like, the king's quarters and stuff like that, um, and of course we're gonna have two large, massive towers, these are probably gonna be the two highest towers, uh, that might be the highest tower, but I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's this part of the uh, throne room. And, well, more throne building. The entire castle is just going to be a throne room at this point. But anyway, let's move on to the next part. So, over here, I'll try to speed this up because it's sun's going down. Uh, this is going to be one of two uh, large buildings on two sides of the castle complex. This is where we're going to have the majority of the rooms and stuff. 
and they're going to be about the same size as the throne room and they're going to have large glass walls or at least good good sized walls so you can have a nice good view of the sunset when you're about to go to bed and stuff like that uh so that's this area and uh, i think we might use it for like kitchens or uh like other things like that um have some small towers in it just for fun but anyway that's gonna be this it's gonna be like a mostly residential but at heart multi-purpose structure uh so that's what this is gonna be And good morning, or good whatever time it is. Oh, I fell down here. I did not mean to do that. Well, a uh, fantastic beginning to the day, if you, if I do say so myself. Anyway, on to the next part of the build. So what we have right here is a little attachment to one of the uh, towers connecting to the throne room. And it's going to be like two smaller towers off to the side that are going to connect to each other. Um, or at least I thought that this... Or at least I thought that you would be able to um, go to that tower through the throne room or through another room. Maybe in here, uh, maybe in this part, uh, maybe in this building, sorry. Um, and then you'd be able to walk into one of these towers, and then you would, uh, and then it would connect over here, and then you can go into these two towers, and then the two towers would also link together up at the top, but this tower would also have a bridge um, pretty high up that would be connecting all the way over to this tower, which I was thinking to be some sort of maybe a dungeon or something like that, uh, you know, with some cells in it and you know, like some guard bases. So what we have right here, um, right next to that part actually, is going to be another building just like the one over there. It's going to be multi-purpose with a bunch of, you know, maybe some... I thought this one would be a bit more militaristic. Maybe some armories, um, some, you know, like a horse stable, um, you know, down, down here on the side. Uh, maybe could have, you know, a bunch of guard barracks, um, you know, like some officer... Um, offices, you know, for like a general to lead his troops from, but he still has to do bureaucracy, so he's gonna have to do that. Um, so I thought, yeah, this would be a cool place to do that. And also have like, um, like the king's office be here, you know, like, um, you know, like the Oval Office in the United States, something like that. I just thought it'd be pretty cool. Anyway, moving on to the next part. Right here, um, I didn't really have much of an idea for this. It was just going to be a tower, small tower here on this room. Um, and then connecting to the, uh, over this part. Um, that's the throne room. Yeah, just lost the word for a second there. Um, I don't exactly know what I'm going to put here, but I do know I do want the linking, them linking together. But I might put, like... I might put like the kitchens here um, off to the side since because this is going to be the ballroom and the throne room is obviously going to be up there. Um, I thought it would be good to put the kitchen here or I could put the kitchen over by the closer to where the thrones are. Give me a second here. I was thinking about maybe putting the kitchen um, so you obviously have like a, t a short like little room going here, but uh, there's actually this massive chunk of empty space. This is going to be raised up by the way. So you pretty much have this massive open space where there's not really going to be a whole lot. So I was trying to figure out what to put here and I think I might try to shove the kitchen somewhere in here because, um, it's actually really close to where all the... Or, like, maybe I might, I was thinking of having maybe a fancy kitchen here where, you know, there's a bunch of expensive ingredients for the nobility and the royalty to dine on. And then over there will be, like, the 
you know, servant's kitchen where there's a bunch of, like, low, um, you know, low-cost, like, potato stew, um, you know, maybe some, like, pork on occasion, um, but that's, I was thinking of having that idea. Um, so anyway, moving on to the next part, uh, I think this is the last part of what I've completed already, um, I'll just show it to you. Right here, connected to, um, the, like, the military building, or the administrative building, um, there's this weird peninsula, and I actually made it so that if you see, the walls are actually perfectly aligned with the peninsula, because I was thinking of making it into, like, a sort of magic tower or library, um... So, I thought it would look really cool to have it look a lot more, or a lot less, or a lot more detailed, since the other ones are going to be pretty, you know, like, flat, but this one's going to be, you know, it's going to have a bunch of curves everywhere, and the inside is just, I was thinking the inside could just, like, reflect, um, I'm out of food, I'm going to get some more, um, I was thinking the inside could look just absolutely ridiculous, like, they're, like, five different floors and there's gonna be like stairs and ladders everywhere just everything placed haphazardly there's gonna be like light books like in weird places and um I, I just thought the inside would look like absolutely psychotic like you just gotta you know like you just gotta for like a child to put things inside it and like just throw stuff everywhere and i thought that would be a good idea Anyway, I'm gonna go get some food, because I'm hangry. You don't like me when I'm hangry. Thank you, Maple. So anyway, um, I just noticed and we don't really have a whole lot of things in the way of farming. So I was going to make a farm, we, because we don't have any food and we're all going to starve if we don't have any of that. So I was going to make a hoe and get some seeds and uh, let's see what we're going to do here.
don't mind me, I'm just getting some seeds for your new farm I'm gonna make. Uh, I don't really know why I'm... I guess I'm just letting y'all know that I'm gonna make a farm. I guess I, we do have the farm back at home base. Uh, you saw that one. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't, I don't want to make that trip a bit far uh, for my tastes. I'd rather just, uh, you know, grow my own damn food. What's going on, my dudes? We are back with some rad tunes. I just rhymed, but that's my bad because I'm really bad at rhyming because it requires really good timing. Yo, 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 yo. Um, sorry for the raps. I'm really bad. Okay, so, um... What we're gonna do here is gonna make a little um, sort of side thing, I guess. Get a bucket, bucket of water. Um, so I'll make a little bunch of little holes in the ground. We're gonna put water in them because that's how I farm. Water, 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 water. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna figure out this whole area. Actually, I do want to let you know of one thing. Um, you might know that I don't only play Minecraft to make YouTube videos. I know it's shocking to a lot of you, but it's true. I do play Minecraft quite a bit in my personal time, and I've created a pretty interesting world. Um, of course, there's still a lot to, of work to do on it, but I do think it's pretty good, um, as it stands now. Um, so if you want to see it, uh, drop a comment in. But I'm only going to do it if the YouTube channel grows to a point at which people are actually watching it, because they like to watch it. Because <clears throat> I know, um, pretty much nobody's watching it at the time I'm releasing these videos, or at the time any of us are releasing any of the videos, uh, we don't have a lot of actual genuine subscribers, we only got like 24 at this point, um, but, uh, and honestly, I'm not even sure if anyone's gonna see these videos, but, um, you know, like, if we do get big, you know, get, you know, a few thousand at the very least, oh, Guys, you gotta go back in here. If we do go to a few thousand, um, you guys aren't gonna watch these videos, cause, uh, you don't watch. I mean, I guess if you wanna watch them for, like, nostalgia, like, oh, this is, this is how they were when they were young. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna keep this part of the video in, to be honest, but, um, basically what I'm trying to say is, I, I don't think anyone who genuinely wants to watch this is gonna really be watching it. That is unless this Minecraft world becomes big enough that people are actually really interested in it. Um, but I'm not sure if that's really gonna happen. And I think that um, if we do get big, it might, it's probably just gonna be on smaller individual YouTube videos like um, Stick Fight um, or Escapists, we might do that. But as it stands, I'm not, I'm not even sure if anybody watches these videos all the way through. Uh, so yeah. But um, I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it optimistic. I'm trying to I'm trying to you know to be like oh we can actually do something with this because I do really think we have some potential. But anyway, aside from that, let's get to things we are supposed to be doing because that's productive.
So, um, I'm sure as you know, we're going to be starting the build pretty soon. Uh, on the big... Um, because, uh, because the way it works is that we're supposed to build, like, the basic, like, frame for it. And that's what we're doing now. And then we're gonna do the details. Um, we also have to do a bunch of trial runs. Because you see, um, we did the trial things for the walls. But I think we're gonna need to do trial runs for pretty much every part of the castle. Every wall of the castle needs to actually look like someone thought about what they were building. And not just kind of winged the entire process. Which is kind of true, but still. Um, so anyway, I was gonna... I was just gonna do a bit of base work and see what we're gonna do about the fancy kitchen. Or about, like, the nobleman's kitchen. So, let's go and do that. We. So here we are. I think the best idea is going to have the kitchen be sort of like an off thing to this. It's like this building here. I'm going to put a bunch of... I'm going to put like a... Uh, but I don't want to make it like a tiny like turn. I think I should probably have it be a sharp turn or not here at all. Because um, this is going to be like a bridge ki kind of thing. So it's going to be up there. But it's not going to have like, you know... Uh, it's not gonna this like area here isn't gonna be filled up so you're gonna be able to see past it and I don't want the first thing people see under um you know like uh like you know like trade ships coming over and they see the grand castle and all and they see this area and under it's just like a kitchen um so I'm gonna see what I can do to make the kitchen look good um but I'm very bad at design uh so I have an idea that's not terribly bad, but it's still kind of crappy. I didn't even build this thing right. Uh, it's off by one. Give me a second. Okay, so I have an idea. We're going to just have another tower here. We're going to have another tower. It's going to be kind of small, but still it's going to be here. It's going to have a bunch of chimneys because we're going to be cooking all the castle. Like, like a fourth of the castle's food is going to be made in here. So it's going to be pretty big. And about this part here, oh, I'm gonna explain it quick because the moon is coming up and the sun is coming down. Uh, we're gonna have like a sort of tr like arena type thing. Not like arena, but like training area where like the castle knights can duel and they can have like you know, short cavalry battles or whatever. I'm not sure if you can have a cavalry battle in a place this small, but it's sizable enough to have a couple tents or, yeah, you know, just be able to you know have some training matches going on i was thinking about raising the dirt so it's not actually going to be like at this level it's going to be a bit higher i'm um, still below this part um uh the bridge here um but still higher enough to get some sunlight in so they're not like flanked by massive walls and stuff so going to bed because i don't want to die today Hooray! Wonderful day. Wonderful day, isn't it, Mr. Zombie? Oh, Mr. Zombie, you're burning me! Um, that's good. That's cool. Um, okay, next part. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, what we have right here, uh, now is, I think that's just about everything I wanted to show you for this video. Um, everything I haven't showed you yet will be 
um, explained in a way further in future episodes. De but depending on, you know, what comes of it, uh, not sure how much we're going to be able to go into it. Um, not sure what parts of it we're going to be able to go into. Not sure how big the castle is going to be, really. It might, you know not be as big as you might expect it might be bigger than you expect um it's definitely going to be large that's that's for sure but i don't really so anyway um uh so that's just about everything i want to show you for this video so i'm gonna just call it a day and as i always say Remember to perfectly plan out your builds because you do not want to go into it. Trust me, you can look at my castle I built in my personal game. Yeah, it does not look good. That's what happens when you wing things, kids. Oh, there's something else. What was it? Eat your peanut brittle. Goodbye.